Hi there, trailer owners. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Peterson's Piranha Mini LED Side Marker and Clearance Lights. These lights are available in either an amber color for your side markers or red for clearance lights at the back of your trailer. These are gonna be a great upgrade if you've got limited space or need low profile side marker or clearance lights on your trailer. They don't take up very much. They're about an inch in diameter and they just press in. They have a grommet, so it's like a lot of your trailer lights, except for these are significantly smaller. And these are an upgrade because they're gonna be brighter than your incandescence lights, which take up more space, stick out farther, use more power, and don't last as long. So you can upgrade to an LED one here that's gonna last significantly longer, provide more visibility at night, and not take up very much of the real estate. It really modernizes it being nice and flush against the trailer. We're gonna start our installation by removing our old marker light. We're gonna be in replacing it with this newer, smaller, lower profile LED light. There's just a single stud here on the back that has a nut on it for this light. So we're just gonna remove that. In a lot of cases, this is just gonna break off. These old incandescent lights are pretty common of just having rust issues and stuff like that. So we can just set that guy aside. We're not gonna install the new light into here, but you can see that the hole there is gonna to be too small. So we're gonna use a step bit to enlarge this hole until it's big enough for our light to pass through. And this is just a press fit. So once we get it drilled out properly, it's just gonna bloop, pop in there. So here's our step bit. We're just gonna enlarge it until it fits. This is the easiest way to do it to ensure that you get a good tight fit. So we're just gonna do a quick check. We're still not quite there. So now that we've got it drilled out to the right size, we can see it's gonna be snug, but if we give it a push, we should be able to get this in here. And we want it to be nice and snug. So that's kind of what we're looking for. If it's a little bit too snug, we might need to just go back in there real quick and just hit it, just to clean up some of the rougher edges. Once we get it nice and flush, and to where it holds in there, nice and solid. We've now got that installed and we just need to hook up our wiring. We stripped back this wire and on this one we put a, stripped it back and then placed a ring terminal on it. You can get ring terminals here at E-Trailer. We're then just gonna ground this wire by running it right into the frame and we can do so right here. The brown wire that's passed through the small hole here is our running light circuit. So we had just stripped that back so we got a nice clean connection point to it. And we're just gonna connect the black wire from our light to the running light circuit on our trailer. We're using heat shrink butt connectors to do this, which are available here at E-Trailer, to ensure that we don't get any moisture entering down into our wires, which can cause corrosion. So we're now gonna take our heat gun to shrink that connector down, just gonna keep out all that moisture. And then if you picked up any red marker lights for the rear of your trailer, they're gonna install exactly the same. So we've gone ahead and installed some here at the back and we installed some on the side, which were amber, for closer to the front of our trailer. Now that they're installed, we're just gonna hook up our test box. You can hook it up to your truck, turn on your tail lights and make sure everything's working properly. So here you can see our rear marker lights are working properly and our amber ones are good to go as well. And that completes our look at Peterson's Piranha Mini LED Side Marker and Clearance Lights.